All right, let's talk about something that's been blowing up everywhere. Cold plunges. You see these influencers and biohackers dunking themselves into icy water, and they swear it changes their lives. They talk about better mood, less inflammation, and a supercharged metabolism. But there's one claim that really caught my attention. The idea that cold exposure can trigger something called autophagy. Is this for real? Can a cold shower actually help your body clean house and recycle its old junky cells? Let's dive in. First off, what even is autophagy? Picture your body as a bustling city. Over time, some buildings get old, some cars break down, and trash starts to pile up in the streets. Autophagy is like the city's super-efficient cleanup crew. It goes around, collects all the broken-down parts, damaged proteins, old organelles, cellular gunk, and either repairs them or breaks them down into raw materials to build new, healthy cells. It's your body's ultimate recycling program. It's crucial for slowing down aging, preventing diseases, and just keeping you running smoothly. We know that things like fasting and intense exercise are rock-solid ways to ramp up autophagy. But what about the cold? This is where it gets interesting and a little bit complicated. The theory is based on something called hormesis. This is the idea that a little bit of stress is actually good for you. When you expose your body to a shock like a blast of cold water, it doesn't just sit there and freeze. It fights back. It kicks on a whole bunch of survival mechanisms to protect itself and become stronger. One of these survival pathways involves a group of proteins called cold shock proteins like RBM3 and SERP. When your core body temperature starts to drop, your body releases these proteins to protect your cells from damage. Now here's the connection. Some early research, mostly in animal studies, suggests that these cold shock proteins can also influence the pathways that regulate autophagy. The logic is your body is under stress. It thinks winter is coming and it needs to become as efficient as possible. So it triggers the cleanup crew, autophagy, to get rid of non-essential parts and recycle energy. It's a survival mechanism. But here's the big but. A huge one. While the theory makes sense, the direct evidence in humans is still very, very thin. We have tons of research showing fasting boosts autophagy. We have good data for exercise. For cold exposure, not so much. Most of the studies are on mice or on cells in a Petri dish, proving it happens system-wide in a living, breathing human who just took a three-minute cold shower is a whole different ballgame. So what's the verdict? Does a cold plunge turn on autophagy? The honest answer is maybe, but we can't say for sure. The science is promising, but it's not a slam dunk yet. However, don't throw out your ice bath just yet. We know for a fact that cold exposure has other incredible proven benefits. It can dramatically reduce inflammation, boost your mood by releasing dopamine and norepinephrine, and it can activate brown fat, which helps